beautiful welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases we are going to talk about the new makeup that's been released announced a sneak peek and i am going to let you know whether or not i want to pick it up whether or not I'm, i've already been looking for it online because there are some things here where i was like ooh. We'll talk about that too. And if you don't agree with me, that's perfectly fine. We do not need to be agreeing about every makeup product on the planet, but we do need to be a little bit kind and respectful towards each other. If you love something I hate, if you hate something I love, that's perfectly fine. Let's agree to disagree, but let's jump in. <laughs> So I did film this look, I filmed a little reel. I'm actually wearing the new Simply Posh Aurora Lights, the one that I talked about um, last week. Um, and I'm wearing this one today. And so far so good. I'm really enjoying this makeup look. I think it looks really fire. I, quick housekeeping. This is gonna be, and it feels weird saying it, this is gonna be the last video that I film in this makeup space. I am pre-filming this a little bit because when this is going up, I have already moved. I have already moved and I'm already, like all my stuff is packed up and it's probably just in a pile in my new beauty room. I will not be filming anything more until January. There are a couple of more videos that are gonna come up um, the end of December. Know that those are pre-filmed too. Know that I probably will not be super active in the comments because I'm taking some time off to just breathe and just to get the new house ready and like, you know, celebrate the holidays and all of that. But thank you so much for all the kind and encouraging words, for watching my video about my new house, all of those things. I'm just so happy to have such a positive audience around me. It really does help out when you're going through stressful times. So I am pre-filming this a little bit because like I said, when this is going up, I just won't be here. So if there's any releases that you're like, hey, why didn't you mention this? I will mention that in my next new makeup releases, which will be the first week of January. So the 5th of January is when I'm gonna have my new makeup releases. I am not a hundred percent sure if I will be uploading anything that first week of January. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. It depends on how the moving and everything is going, but I am super excited to show you my new beauty room. If you want to see sneak peeks, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, but let's, let's scoochie scoochie. Let's scoochie scoochie so we can start. Let's start with talking about something that was like announced just after I filmed my last video last week and I've actually already bought this one because I I was intrigued and that is the news from e.l.f. Cosmetics. e.l.f. is releasing a new camo, like a CC camo cream. I think it's called that, right? Camo Hydrating CC Cream SPF 30. I did buy this one. I think I bought the darkest light shade because they had light and then uh, medium immediately. And I'm usually a light medium, so I decided to get the darkest light one. I think that it is going to turn out pretty good. Yeah, the light 280N. That's the one I bought. I think it's gonna be good. So I'm thinking the first video that I can film, like not new makeup releases when I get back, is like a full face of new drugstore makeup because I do have quite a few things coming in. I made an order from Ulta as well, buying some new things from Milani and L'Oreal. So I was thinking, let's just try out some new drugstore things. The next thing that I bought is that I did buy this new blush from e.l.f. also, which is the Camo Liquid Blush. And this one is a dewy finish, which makes me a little bit worried because like dewy finish can mean anything from dries down matte but is shimmery to straight up fly paper makeup like your hair your your parts of your pets and mosquitoes they will all stick to it so i'm wondering what this will be when i've seen some pictures of this i will say the blush looks suspiciously dewy like it's gonna be like greasy sticky so i will try it out i'm taking one for the team and i will let you know does this look dewy on the skin or is it actually sticky on the skin? Because I don't like sticky makeup, but we will find out together. And since I always buy the orange blushes, I actually decided to get the brown one to like switch it up a little bit. So I'm excited about filming that because I have new eyeshadow from Latte London. I have this new blush and um, this new foundation. I bought the new concealer from L'Oreal. I bought the new bronzer from Milani. I know I brought the... I bought the lip color from Milani as well. Like I, I have a bunch of fun stuff to try. I'm super excited about that. Elf also did announce that they're releasing their version of these like click stick lipsticks. I'm surprised it took them this long because I feel like every brand under the sun is coming out with these. And now we've saw them from like mainstream like 
mid-range brand like Tarte and About Face and like even more expensive brands like Yves Saint Laurent has also uh, been releasing their version because that's the those like lipsticks that have been so like they're not the Rouge Volupté they're the candy sticks candy slicks candy yum candy something something candy those are their version of that like that lipstick that is so creamy that you can't twist it up you have to click up as much as you want mac has theirs and now all the affordable brands are coming up with theirs nyx had theirs which i actually really like and now elf is coming up with their version i'm expecting now usually i always say that like drugstore is the last to jump on but actually I would say luxury brands are probably the last to jump on. I'm expecting to see this version from every brand. Expect this from Chanel. Expect this from Dior. I think we're gonna see this version. Maybe not even this year, but I'm thinking like summer 2025, Chanel's gonna come up with their click sticks. <laughs> this is what I'm guessing. I did not see this on the e.l.f. website when I bought the, the things that I bought. These are available in Canada right now, so I'm sure they're dropping here soon as well. I thought there were some really cute colors, and I like they don't have shimmer in them because I prefer the non-shimmery ones. I like that there is a red one as well. I don't know. Lip plumper gloss and balm that drenches lips in a sheer wash of color and shine while plumping the appearance of lips with an invigorating tingle. Like chili tingle or menthol tingle? I want to say I'm asking for a friend. I'm, I'm not. I'm asking for me. Me. I want to know. What kind of a tingle are we talking about here? Is it like a menthol minty tingle? Or is it like KN, your lips are about to fall off your face kind of a tingle? This is important information. But yeah, I think I will be trying this one. And hopefully the tingle will be mint. And not too painful because I'm a baby and I can't do that. Ooh, this one also quite recently was dropped, and this is the Pat McGrath Chroma Lux Artistry, Artistry, Artistry Pigments. I cannot speak. These are $35 for a single eyeshadow, which is a lot of money, but also, like, didn't, like, Merit charge, like, $30 for their single eyeshadow, and that was atrocious. But, yeah, this one comes in six different colors. Um, they're pinky neutral purpley that you did throw in the purple that was a curveball for paths it's a purple in there they're available now this isn't for me um is this one of those like you know the pressed pigments that's like a little bit of a cream and it's like in a pot i'm guessing that based on how they look you remember those from l'oreal when i got into the beauty community 2015 People were going bonkers over those from L'Oreal. People were like, oh my god, this is so amazing. And now looking back at it, like, it was amazing. But, like, how the makeup community and, like, the makeup quality has gotten so much better since then. Not that those were bad, but, like, the bar is, like, it's in cosmos. Like, the bar is so high compared to what we thought was mind-blowing at the time. Also, some quick news. Sol de Janeiro is coming to Ulta. When I saw this, I was like, I thought they already were, which shows how much I'm shopping from this brand. This is... I, I don't dislike this brand. Actually, I have a... I have one of those classic body butters from them. I use it every now and then. I don't battle with dry skin. And I also... I like the scent, but I don't like the scent enough to get it in, like body sprays and get it in shower gels and shampoos like i don't love the scent that much i do have it in like a leave-in spray for the hair i actually have one for me and one for my husband and we both kind of enjoy that one that scent is actually really nice in the hair because it lasts but for me this is i thought they already were i guess they're not but i mean now now they are Speaking of shower gels, this is from Native. So Native is doing a collaboration with Girl Scouts. I had never seen Native before I moved to the US. So this might be a US exclusive brand, which also explains why they're doing a collab with Girl Scouts uh, cookies. Because again, I've never seen them in Sweden either. I've never seen them here. I've never had Girl Scout cookies. I've only been in the US for two years. I don't know if you're supposed to. Like, am I missing out? Do I need to? Is it one of those, like, yes, it's actually good? Or, no, girl, it's only nostalgia? Because, like, I'm here to tell you, mac and cheese... It's not really that good. It's mostly nostalgia. I'm just... I'm, I'm just letting you know. There was also something else. Oh, the, the ones you put in the toaster, Pop-Tarts? 
No. That's just sturdy packaging with some jam in the middle. Also, I think just nostalgia, not really good. But I would love to hear your thoughts about these. But yeah, there are body washes with the Thin Mints, the Trefoil, Coconut Caramel, Lemon Cookie, and Peanut Butter Cookie. Thin Mints. So, I mean, I love anything minty. Is that like a chocolate mint? That I could be about. A chocolate mint body wash. Scents will also be in deodorant, body mist, shampoo, and conditioner. Cookie body mist. I mean, I'm not the gourmand sense girly, but like peanut butter body mist? I'm not here to yuck your yum, but like, really? Peanut butter body mist. That's not for me. Apparently it's already available in stores. You know what? I will look for this one. Although I am pretty busy now, so probably I won't have time, but if I see it, I'll sniff it for sure. Ooh, I actually have this one. This one, I have this one. Let me go get it. This is the new palette from Ensley Rain. This is the right side. This is called the Cold Moon Palette. And this is the brand's version of a somewhat cool tone palette. I actually think that this is really cool. I saw some pictures where the, the colors like almost looked green, but I don't like, sure, this is like a olive leaning gray and this is like an olive leaning gray but they're not green uh, I definitely would not say they're green you kind of have to have an olive undertone to be able to get those to look green on your skin but I think overall it's a really interesting take on a cool tone palette is this my favorite color story not necessarily because um cool tone eyeshadows is not my absolute favorite. I really did like the look that I did though. I will link it down below the video where I'm using this. Also, I will actually show you my swatches because I just swatched the palette. Might as well show you what it looks like. It is really beautiful. It's one of those like all the shimmer shades are just really reflective. Some are duochrome, some are multichrome. They're just very, very special. They're just really good quality. I like the mattes. I like the shimmers. Everything from Ensley Rain. And now I have the Harvest Moon and I have the Cold Moon. And now I'm like, do I need the... Was it Strawberry Moon? Do I need to purchase it? I I need the smallest incentive. I need like one person saying like, yeah. And I'm like already on the page, like <laughs> shopping away. I think this one is releasing on the 26th. The owner did tell me that she was releasing it after Christmas. Yes. On the 26th, you can use my code and you will get some money off. It's dropping at 1130 uh, Central Standard Time on the 26th, so that is Boxing Day. So yeah, happy hunting for the Ensue Rain palette. Still, my favorite is um, the Enchanted... What was it called? Enchanted something? The Castle? I don't remember. But that one, the pastel with the jewel tones, ugh, that is my favorite. I think it's beautiful. I need to get more palettes from them so I have more to compare with because I think their quality... Not that I'm surprised, but I'm surprised it's this good. NARS is also releasing some more stuff. Let's talk about this first because they are expanding their color range of two existing products. This is the Liquid Blush, the Afterglow Liquid Blush. It's coming out with three new shades and it seems to be a darker coral, a more burnt brownie orangey shade, or like a, a red, more like a reddish brown, I would say. And then a darker, almost a burgundy shimmer as well. I think it's really smart to come up with some darker shades. I feel like all the shades they had for summer were a little bit more pastel -y. I think it's smart to come up with more shades. And then they're also in the Afterglow Shine lipsticks. They're coming up with six new shades and it seems to be uh, three more neutrally shades, actually. Have you tried these? Are they nice? Should I be looking into them. I feel like Norris is one of those brands that everybody really loves the quality of the brand. I've just, the colors are always so, I don't want to say predictable because I don't know if that's a nice thing to say, but it's usually not color stories that draw me in. But I will say that lighter beige lipstick does look really beautiful. I could be persuaded for sure. The next thing that they're releasing is that they're releasing like an eyeshadow, like a collection it, maybe it's like an eyeshadow palette to go with the extension of... Because you see you see the collection here. So they're introducing the Sweet Sensations collection. And it is just the new shades of the blushes and the new shades of the lipsticks. And then there is the Afterglow Irresistible Eyeshadow Palette. That one is dropping on Christmas Eve. So the 24th. 
I think this looks like at least three or four other palettes that NARS have released. I feel like this, th this is not the first time we're seeing this color story from NARS. I'm sure one of the shades is called Orgasm. I'm just, they do this kind of a pinky, neutrally browny with a touch of some reddish tones with some golds. They do that a lot. So this, again, this is one of those, I'm like, I'm sure it's great, but like, how am I supposed to be excited about something that I've seen so many times from the brand? Juvia's Place also extended their liquid eyeshadows. So they released a couple of liquid eyeshadows, I think with Culture One, and now they are the eyeshadow palette, Culture One. And now they're releasing even more shades with the Culture Two liquid eyeshadows. These are $15 each. It seems like all of them are like iridescent, duo, or multichromes. And these combine glitters and pearls to give you a bold, intensive, sparkling effect to the, uh, to the eyelids. And yeah, they say that they're multi-chromes and they shift with every angle of the light. And there's a bunch of different shades. I actually did own some of these liquid shadows from before and they're really nice quality. They're good quality liquid eyeshadows. They are better than the ones from the liquid multi-chromes that Colourpop came out with. These are better than that. So I definitely think take a peek at them if you were looking to, to try them out. I have not tried these myself. But some of them do be looking really nice. I always like one of those like iridescent toppers that shift in different colors. I feel like that's just so pretty and such an easy way to add a little extra to any kind of look, honestly. These are available now. I will link them down below. These are available at the Juvia's Place website and you can use my code Angelica there. It's the only place where it's Angelica instead of Angeshka and you can get some money off when you're shopping the Juvia's Place website. Here's another one of these where I'm like, didn't we already have this? <laughs> I'm guessing another one of the Kardashians wants to start a perfume brand. I feel like all of them have had stuff right. This is Khloe Kardashian's fragrance line. Um, I don't really know much about the Kardashians. I'm always saying that I am not keeping up with the Kardashians. So yeah, this is one of the Kardashian sisters, I think, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that it is. And she's gonna work with luxe brands that are creating fragrances for a lot of other celebrities like Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj. And she is gonna be releasing a few products starting next year. And the quote from Chloe is, I love for a scent to be classic and for you to be captivated by it. I like florals with a musk, so it's not super feminine and a clean scent too, which is everything that I don't like. I do not like a classic clean scent. I do not like a floral scent. So for me, I think I'm uh, out. It's dropping in 2024. Are you intrigued by this? Are you keeping up with the Kardashians? I feel like there's nothing wrong with like being intrigued by celebrities, lifestyles or their life. I also wonder, they're launching so many brands, not only within beauty, within everything. And it just makes me wonder like how many of these are actually successful and how many of these are brands are like made to, you know, for the long run. Cause I feel like they come and go. Or am, is that just me? Because again, I'm not keeping up with the Kardashians. So I'm just, literally just saying what I've been hearing. But I would love to hear your take on it if you're like a little bit more, if you are keeping up <laughs> with the Kardashians. Here's a brand that we haven't been talking about in a hot minute. I wanna say at least a year. This is Inglot. Inglot has released their 40th anniversary collection on their website. And I gotta say, Inglot, you had a glow up. You've never looked this nice. This looks like Laura Mercier. This looks like it could be uh, Bobby Brown. This looks like it could be, um, what's her face, Charlotte Tilbury. This looks clean. This looks nice. That little eye and cheek palette, it's not for me, but I am sure that a lot of people that like makeup like that will look at this and be like, oh, okay. Inglot has really high quality products. They're just having a hard time releasing stuff that really comes through and makes people super excited about them. But I gotta say, this looks really beautiful. It looks really beautiful. I'll link it down below. We have another brand that is coming soon. This is also supposed to come fall next year. And this is from Balmain and this is not surprising to me at all. Balmain already has extensions, which is, I mean, first when I heard that, I was like, that's random. <laughs> that's a little, 
That's a little random, but they do have extensions, Balmain extensions. They are known to be super luxury, high quality extensions. And I am not surprised that they're getting themselves into beauty as well. I'm surprised it took this long. That's what I would like to say. Balmain is a brand that is, it's like semi couture. So it is very expensive brand but instead of charging a thousand dollars for a dress in a department store they'll charge you six thousand dollars that's where they are because their products are while they are off the rack uh, they are still also like i said semi couture they have a lot of details you know those really sharp blazers with a lot of the embroidery and stuff those are bomba so um and those are five thousand dollar blazers so i'm not expecting them to come out with like a twenty dollar foundation i don't think anyone should be expecting that expect hermes prices that's what i think um expect hermes dior chanel prices this is going to be a luxury brand this is going to be a brand that's probably going to be a little bit more sultry sexy maybe than some of the other brands because they do a lot of like evening wear really well i would not be surprised if they were doing one of those you know the quads with the a black and like three golds. I would not be surprised at all to see something like that from Bowman. So I am intrigued to see what this is, but yeah, expect this to be pretty pricey. Department store thing imaging. Bobbi Brown has also released some new bronzers. So these are powder bronzers and this is a lightweight bronzer powder enhances and sculpts the face with shades that flatter all complexions with a natural looking warmth. Uh, that seems really nice. Uh, it's a matte finish. It's a soft focus look. It does have coconut oil. So if you are sensitive towards that, just know that this one has coconut oil. But it is uh, available right now. It is $47. It's quite a bunch of different shades. And it seems to have quite a bunch of different undertones as well. I don't know if I need to be picking this one up. But it seems to be a really good release from the brand. Because something that really can make a brand really popular if it's well formulated is a bronzer just look at those matte bronzers from charlotte tilbury people went crazy we did talk about the new daisy perfumes from Marc jacobs last week i still have not been able to hunt them down but they're actually releasing another daisy perfume and this is the daisy wild i do love this bottle because it has the it almost looks like it's a vase that they put flowers in because of the little green things that are coming down like the stems it looks beautiful and this is the Daisy Wild. This is a fruity floral fragrance that captures the irresistible essence of nature, sparkling a sense of discovery. Who's ever writing these texts? I'm hope you. I hope you're getting good money for this. This is Wild Flower Jasmine with Weaver and Banana Blossom. Florals, florals, florals. I think I'm out. I mean, it, it's even meant to look like a vase with flowers. I like the look of wildflowers, but I don't want to smell like it. So for me, I think I'm out. But yeah, there's a lot of Marc Jacobs fragrances coming. I mean, we talked about four new fragrances in two weeks. That's a lot. There's also a little sneak peek from Nomad Cosmetics. This is launching on January 16th. So this is like a new year launch. So we will talk about this in January when I'm back. But I wanted to let you know, like something is coming and this is the first sneak peek and yeah, i have no idea what this is they're just putting it seems like cosmos like space universe kind of a packaging if you just look at it and then it is uh the snowflakes so i'm wondering if it is going to be winter themed or if these snowflakes are here mainly because it is a winter release because Nomad Cosmetics is a destination-based indie brand. You can use my cone, you can get some money off when you're shopping with them. And I'm thinking lately, their destinations have been a little bit more, you know, I don't want to say obscure, but that had a little bit more vision with their different destinations. I have no idea what this is. I do not have this release. I have not talked with the brand. So this is just me guessing. I'm guessing... The destination is the Milky Way. And I'm basing that on, this is good. Okay, sit down. I'm, I'm turning into that meme, you know, when he's in front of that board and it has all the red lines. This is me. The, one of the owners of Nomad Cosmetics is Finnish. And the Milky Way in Swedish, and Finns do speak Swedish. Super long story short, 
Finn speaks Swedish because Sweden used to own Finland and they still know Swedish. That's a super short story. The Milky Way in Swedish is called Vintergatan, which means wintry street. So the Milky Way galaxy, it's called Vintergatan galaxy, basically winter street galaxy. So I'm thinking space, the, one of the owners is Finnish, it's releasing in the winter. I'm thinking the destination is the Milky Way or maybe even Vintergatan, the Swedish name. If, do I win something if I'm correct? Watch me be foolishly incorrect. Foolishly incorrect. And if so, you can laugh at me down in the comments, but it's not a bad guess. You know, it's not a bad guess if you just look at this. So this is what I'm thinking. I might be wrong, but hey, I might be right as well. Let's talk about the last thing. And I am so intrigued by this. I've already been searching for this and I might have one of those treat yourself moments. I've never tried this before, but I have been getting into, and I've been realizing, okay, I'm making no sense. I've been realizing this year that I actually don't hate gourmand scents. I'm just extremely picky with them and I need them to have body. I need them to be a little bit complex. I need them to be adult and I need them to not be too sweet for me to enjoy them. So I've been loving the Kayali Pistachio uh, Gelato. I have been enjoying uh, from Killian, the Angel Share. There's been a couple where I've been like, huh, this is actually really nice. And now we are seeing some new ones from the Born to Stand Out. That's what it's called, like the, the fragrance brand. These are available at Lucky Scent. I will leave a link to that down below. I have ordered from that site before. It's definitely a legit um, website. They are releasing three different scents. One of them is Happy Nuts that has pistachio, almonds, honey, caramel, rum. I love a boozy note together in a gourmand scent. And then it's like, it's so many good things. Tobacco, it's so many good things. And they're also releasing one that is called Nanatopia. That is nutmeg, cinnamon, rum, pure jungle essence. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds so intriguing. Who does not want to smell like that? I want to smell like rum, pure jungle essence. What is it? I don't know, but hand it over right this instance. Banana bread, melted caramel, and it's like, so many things in here where I'm like, oh, this could be so good. And the last one is called Mad Honey, and it is pink pepper, rum, honey, rose, bourbon, vanilla, tonka bean, patchouli. Like there are so many things in here that makes me think this could be the one. I have no idea how much these are. They're available exclusively at Lucky Scent. I will link them down below. Watch these be $250 each. But I am so intrigued by these. Don't these sound delightful? <laughs> I'm hyping these up and I have no idea. If you've ever tried this brand, please let me know your thoughts because I am very, very intrigued by this. I'm just going to double check and make sure that we haven't forgotten to talk about something, if there's like something new to talk about. I think we might have talked about all the things. I'd love to hear your thoughts again down below. Uh, yeah, I think that was everything. Let me scooch over. I'm also letting you know right now, as just a little bit of a head start, I am fairly sure, 99.99% .99 sure, that I will be restocking my original eye brushes with Singe Beauty the first or the second week of January. So just know that those are coming back in stock then. I'm so extremely excited about that because I've been wanting to restock them for such a long time. Holiday season are crazy for factories, crazy for shipping, let me tell you. And I'm just so excited. So yeah, that is happening as well in the beginning of January. Just a heads up because I promised I will let you know as soon as I know. And when I know an exact date, I will let you know uh, here on social media. I'll probably send out a newsletter as well. <sighs> I'm just happy and I'm so happy that, not happy that this is the last video I'm filming in this room, but I'm just so ready for the next chapter. I'm so ready to be in my new beauty room. I'm so ready to be moving. I'm so ready for a holiday break. I'm so ready for all of it. So with that being said, as this is the last video that I'm filming here, even though, like I said, I do have a couple more that's coming before the end of the year, I'm wishing you the most amazing holiday season. I hope you have been enjoying the videos here on my channel this year, and I will see you, well, in two more videos that are coming here, but also in my new beauty room in 2024 and
yeah, I hope you are having a great day and a great holiday season and I will see you soon. Bye!